Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's video for the Microsoft Excel, we are going to see the usage of immediate window. Now first of all, let us understand that what is an immediate window. As the name suggests, immediate window is a window that is used to display the output to us immediately. What does it mean? It means that whenever you are trying to do some of the simpler tasks in a Microsoft Excel, then you can do it very easily using the immediate window. Otherwise, if you want to do anything, you need to go to the insert tab and insert a new module. Then you got to rename this module to something such as tasks. And then in this task, you have to create a sub procedure like uh, say tasks. And then in this tasks, you got to write the code. But uh, what if you are going to do a very simple task such as um, you want to find out that uh, whether a number is greater than another number or not or simple calculations like you want to find out the count of sheets or you want to change the name of the sheets then these simple calculations could be done very easily using the immediate window. The advantage is that you do not need to write the whole sub procedure you do not need to insert a module and uh, you would be able to perform those tasks immediately without creating any additional macros okay so this is the advantage of immediate window and let us now see what is its usage and how can we use it so first of all what you got to do is make sure that your vba is in front of you to get that you can go to the developer tab and click on visual basic from here or uh, you can simply use the shortcut alt f11 and then you will be able to see your vba editor in front of you now once your vba editor is open uh, you can see that there is no immediate window over here so you have to uh, make sure that it is visible to you for that purpose you can go to the view tab or the view menu bar and here you will find this thing called as immediate window you can click from here and the immediate window would be visible at once or uh, you can use a shortcut as well once in your VBA you can use the shortcut control G and when you do that your immediate window would be visible to you now once your immediate window is visible you can uh, use two types of statements or add two types of statements in an immediate window now what are these statements <coughs> these statements are actually um, uh, you can either get the value of something or set the value so uh, these are the getting statements and the setting statements for example if you want to find a simple answer to a question like you want to find if 10 is greater than 8 so that is a simple logical operation that you want to perform that means you want to get the output that whether it is true or false so this is a get statement so how do you write get statement in immediate window you have to first use a question mark whenever you are using a question mark before a statement it would recognize it as a get statement means that this statement will give you the output so i'm trying to get an output that's why i've used this question mark then type in your statement like 10 greater than 8 this is my statement uh, after you have written your statement then you can just press the enter key as soon as you press the enter key you will immediately get the output as true which means that yes it is correct 10 is indeed greater than 8 similarly if you want to use some other uh, thing like if you want to use say uh, is 4 less than 9 then again you will get true as the output it is a boolean operation uh, which gives true or false as the output so we've got true but what if any condition is false suppose i write 8 greater than 10 so that's false and i will get false so you would be able to get either true or false as an answer using this so these are the get statements uh, simple get statements but not only that you can use a simple coding as well suppose you want to find out that uh, what is the name of this first sheet so since you are trying to find it out you need to use a question mark uh, signifying that yes it is a get statement and then you can write sheet one dot name as soon as you write this code uh, once you have done this code you can just press enter and as soon as you press enter you will get the name of sheet one and that is nothing but sheet one itself so that is another usage of get statement 
another usage is suppose you want to find out the count of sheets that how many sheets are there right now we know that there are three sheets so uh, let us find out and check whether it is working or not so use the worksheets function worksheets dot count and then as you press enter you will get three as an answer similarly if you just increase the number of sheets if i just add some sheets uh, now i have seven sheets and now if i use this get statement then what happens is uh, i just write worksheets dot count and then i press enter then what happens is i get seven which is the count of the worksheets so these were the get statements that helps us to get some output now what if we want to set some output that is we want to provide some value to it okay so suppose i want to change the name of the sheets i want to change the name of sheet 1 to something else then how can i do it so for that purpose uh, you have to make sure that immediate window realizes that it is a set statement and not a get statement and as we know for the get statement to work we need to use a question mark that is if we want to use a set statement then we do not need to use a question mark that's simple so here you do not need to use the question mark simply write the code that you want so it would be sheet1 dot name equals and you can just assign any name to it what i'm going to assign it as programming knowledge like this and once you press enter then you can see you have got no output over here but what was your goal your goal was to make sure that the name of sheet 1 here changes to programming knowledge and that's exactly what happened uh, you have got your sheet 1 renamed to programming knowledge similarly you can rename any of the sheets that you want like this using the set statements but if you just write here uh, suppose you are writing this code like sheet 1 Uh, dot name equals something else. I want to assign it to something else. Say YouTube. Okay, but uh, instead of uh, just assigning it, I have also used the question mark, which means uh, I am setting the value. But I have also uh, given it as a get statement by adding a question mark. Now when I press enter, then what happens is I get the answer as false. which means that uh, now what happens is the immediate window checks that whether sheet 1's name is youtube so the answer was false and that's why it has given us the answer as false similarly if you just add the question mark and then you try to check the name like if sheet 1 dot name equals programming knowledge so since its name is programming knowledge then in this case we are going to get the correct output or a uh, true as the answer So that's another way through which you can go with it. That is true. Yes, name of sheet one is programming knowledge. So that's another usage of get statement, uh, get statement, and the value checking. Okay. Now there is uh, another thing. Uh, it could also be used with cells, not only with the sheets, but also with the cells. Suppose you want to uh, just change the value of any cell. we are currently in sheet 4 and i want to change the value of any cell so let's just use this range function uh, i want to change the value of cell a4 as uh, a some number i want to uh, write 80 okay so this is what i want to do i want to change the value of uh, cell number a4 to 80 and when i press enter then what you see is in sheet 4 cell number a4 i have got the value as 80 now my current sheet is a3 and uh, what if i again uh, try to run this code then i have to actually write it again uh, because it's nothing like um, i can reuse this code i cannot reuse this code so i need to write this code again uh, i can just use it for any cell suppose g6 is the cell for which i want to use and then i write value equals say 90 and then uh, as soon as i press enter i get this value Similarly these are the set statements if you want to use the get statement that is if you want to use uh, it to calculate the value from some sheet suppose i am in sheet 2 and i have some values of the cells over here i have a1 a2 and a4 having the values so i want to get the value so since this is a get statement we have to use the question mark and then uh, within the range function you need to specify the cell of whose value you want to get i want to get a1's value dot value 
then what happens is as soon as you press enter whatever the value was there in the cell a1 it has been printed here in the immediate window similarly if you want to compare this value with anything then what happens is you can simply use a question mark and then write the range function i want to compare the value of cell a2 uh, dot value i want to check if this value is greater than 10 or not so this is my statement whether whatever the value of range um, of the cell a2 is whether it is greater than 10 or not as soon as i press enter i get true because yes it is 16 it's greater than 10. so these are the simple operations that you can perform in immediate window and that is all for today's video thanks for watching